Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick hands-on review of this 3D plastic hologram kit for smartphones. It's using prisms as well as physics to create kind of a holographic effect if you look at it at a certain angle. You do need an existing smartphone to use this product and basically you construct it out of this pre-made kit which you can find on Amazon and eBay in the links below for under four dollars and afterwards it basically pops out of the screen. You place it on top of your display, open up the corresponding app and you get a nice holographic image of uh, something like a globe or a butterfly as both a conversation starter and something to kind of play around with. So it's fairly low cost. This technology has existed for a few years now, but in the past you may have uh, needed to create your own out of a CD cases and cutting it out, which could be a slightly messy process. And now there are pre-made kits which are also quite inexpensive. And the um, process itself is also quite convincing to look at. Uh, there are a few free apps that you can use to get the best experience and you can find them through the Play Store or the iOS uh, App Store. And a few of them that are free that I found include the hologram viewer, um, there's also a 3D, 3D holographic projector and a hologram pyramid videos, and some of these come with preloaded images and videos which I'll show you guys in a moment, and some of them require you to take your own images and it automatically translates that into the correct format so you can still see it in this holographic view. So in the kit that we see here, we have access to just the prism, which is made out of this uh, soft vinyl material, so it's a bit more flexible than I originally anticipated, but you can see that there's also a suction cup to mount everything onto the display so it stays in place. There's also a microfiber cleaning cloth to remove any dust and smudges from your display before using it to get the optimal viewing experience. I should also mention that you want the contrast to be on pretty high and you want the display to be on a maximum brightness and for the best results of the holograms you would want to be in a darker environment uh, without too much ambient background lights on. So after the display is clean, we pop on the what looks like just the silicon tip onto the base of the holographic uh, prism. And uh, afterwards, we would just attach this onto the center of the display. There is a film protector that you need to remove both on the outside layer of the pyramid or the prism and also on the inside to get the optimal experience. It's provided uh, the first time just to prevent any scratches or damages. During Once everything is set up, this is what it looks like. You would align the pyramid or the suction cup into the center where the video is being displayed on your particular app. And once you kind of tilt the projector at an angle or the prism at the angle you can really tell that's when the hologram comes alive and actually seems to move around just because there's kind of four of them on the actual screen and by the reflection of the prism this is the effect that you get. You can see that the pre-made kit uh, does T tend to warp a little bit at the edges and that's because the plastic here is so soft and that's one of the cons uh, since they had to make this uh, fairly durable during transit but the effect isn't really d diminished it still works quite well and seems quite realistic um, even though there's that suction cup in the center there it obviously doesn't block any of the optics so it still works and creates this kind of dazzling effect let's turn off the lights and get a closer look at the image Some other sample effects to very quickly go through.
The same thing goes with still images, but of course the effect doesn't seem quite as strong, but you get the idea. It's really easy to also use your own images, uh, but sometimes you do have to use a high contrast uh, version to make the effect pop out a little bit more. I would say that videos tend to work uh, a little bit stronger. So of course this is definitely a cool conversation starter, and at such a low price point, it might be worthwhile to pick up one of these kits instead of making one yourself using a CD case and having to cut through plastic. Uh, so I'll leave some links below, and overall it definitely is a cool little novelty toy if you are a little bored and want to check out some cool videos and effects using your phone. Of course there are a few downsides and things to keep in mind. For one, it does depend on the resolution of your device's screen. So if you have a 1080p or a 2k display on the phone, it does tend to work a little bit better. Also you do need to make sure that the prism itself is uh, decently shaped so it's not too warped and of course it needs to be moderately clean. Uh, so wipe away fingerprints and dust both from the prism as well as from the screen before using it and you should be fine. So anyways that's been our first look and hands-on review of this holographic 3D lens kit for your phone. You can check out more details in our upcoming article with some more sample images and shots but for now this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS.